In 1938, in the quiet labs of the Sandoz Pharmaceutical Company in Switzerland, chemist Albert Hoffman was searching for new medicines. His focus was on ergot, a fungus that grows on rye, hoping to develop drugs to aid circulation and breathing. During one of his experiments, Hoffman created the 25th compound in a long series of tests. He labeled it lysergic acid diethylamide, LSD-25. At the time, it seemed unremarkable. The tests on animals didn't show much promise, so the substance was stored away, nearly forgotten. Five years later, in 1943, Hoffman felt a strange intuition to re-examine the compound. While working with it in his lab, a tiny amount accidentally entered his system. Soon he began to feel dizzy, anxious, and overwhelmed by vivid colors and shifting patterns. He realized he had discovered something powerful, though not at all what he had intended. Curious and cautious, Hoffman later decided to test the substance deliberately. He took a measured dose and, unable to shake off the intensity, rode his bicycle home. That day became known as Bicycle Day, the first recorded LSD trip. His mind-altering experience revealed the incredible potency of this compound in even the smallest quantities. Word of LSD spread quickly. At first, doctors and psychiatrists saw it as a tool to study the human mind. It was used experimentally in therapy, creativity research, and even by the CIA in secret projects. By the 1960s, however, it had escaped the lab and entered the counterculture. Artists, musicians, and activists embraced LSD as a gateway to expanded consciousness, making it a symbol of the psychedelic revolution. But the rise of LSD also brought controversy. Governments cracked down, fearful of its unpredictability and widespread use. What began as an accident in a Swiss laboratory had become one of the most debated substances of the modern era. Today, LSD remains both notorious and fascinating. Researchers are once again studying it for potential therapeutic benefits in treating depression, anxiety, and trauma. The story of LSD reminds us that science doesn't always lead where we expect. Sometimes a forgotten compound rediscovered by accident can open doors to entire new worlds, both of possibility and of controversy.